Well, we've been hearing rumblings for ages that Nova could be coming to the MCU. The rumors are persistent, but we've never gotten anything official. Well, until now. Did Marvel Studios just confirm Nova as a series on Disney Plus? Well, let's take a couple minutes to talk about what the Marvel exec had to say and why this is the first definitive news we've gotten about Nova, well, pretty much in a long time. Now, before we do that, though, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. We do daily Marvel and DC videos, and we want to be your place for all the superhero news, but we're going to bring it to you truthfully and transparently so you are in the know. Well, recently, there's been a whole new crop of rumors and rumblings about Marvel Studios' plans for Nova. Fans have been looking for Richard Rider to potentially appear since Guardians of the Galaxy, but he has never manifested in any way, shape, or form up until this point. Additionally, we've heard when he does finally make it to the MCU, it's unclear which version we're going to get. We could get the Richard Rider version, the classic Nova, or the more recent holder of the Nova mantle, Sam Alexander. Now, all of this news has lived in Rumorville, but recently, the head of Marvel TV streaming and animation, Brad Winderbaum, was talking to Screen Rant, and he dropped a pretty big hint about Nova and Disney+. Plus. Now, in that interview, he was talking about developing shows, and he seemed to pull the curtain back on Nova just a little bit. He said, It's new territory for us, developing more shows than we produce. Nova certainly is exciting to us. We got some great ideas simmering. I think there's a lot of potential there. I love Nova, also from the comics, especially the Richard Ryder era. We'll see what happens. Like you said, there's only so many release slots in the schedule, but we want to make sure everything we make is as good as it could possibly be. But I will say that is a particular project we are excited about and excited about developing. Well, I have to say, that's some of the most definitive news on Nova from somebody at Marvel Studios I think I have ever heard. Nova is indeed in development as a MCU television show, but it doesn't have a schedule slot and it didn't seem like it's headed into production anytime soon. Now, Nova is likely to be a fairly big budget project, especially because most of the series is likely set in space. For me, that makes a streaming debut a bit questionable when Disney Plus is looking to cut costs, but I could see a terrestrial version where the mantle is passed to Sam Alexander and it's mostly set in New York City. Well, there are corners to be cut and I suppose they could find a way to make this work. Now, the Richard Ryder version of Nova made his first appearance in 1976 in The Man Called Nova No. 1. It was created by the legendary writer Marv Wolfman and artist Steve Buscema. Now, Sam Alexander came around in Marvel Point One No. 1 in 2011, and he was developed by Jeff Loeb and artist Ed McGuinness. The two have very different backgrounds, and both the stories are pretty interesting. But given what's already happened in the MCU, it seems to me that the Sam Alexander version is probably the most likely. Now, in the comics, he actually lives in Arizona, and his father, Jesse Alexander, at one point was a member of the Nova Corps, but Sam is only ever known his father as a janitor. When his father goes missing, he discovers a Nova helmet, and that grants him access to the powers of the Nova Force. You can see how this could be something very easily developed for the MCU, and it'll lean into what already happened to the Nova Corps in the Guardians of the Galaxy movie, and also the fallout from Thanos gathering the Power Stone. Obviously, Nova has a big place in the MCU moving forward, so we're going to follow this pretty closely. I am really curious on which version of the character you would rather see, Richard Rider or Sam Alexander. I think they're both great, and honestly, I'm a pretty big Richard Rider fan, but Sam's story is probably easier to tell. Sound off in the comments below.